Happy Thursday, everyone. This is Charnel, also known as Nurse Nell. I am a doctor prepared CRNA or certified registered nurse anesthetist. Currently, I am working in independent practice at a private practice plastic surgery center. So today I'm going to show you all the typical day of a CRNA. Super busy today, so I will do my best. is going really well I'm on my third case of the day I've been doing Brazilian butt lifts today um, but where I work we do anything from breast augmentation thigh lifts facelifts the whole nine typical morning I come in and I see my first patient place their IV do a full assessment just to make sure they don't have anything that's going to affect the anesthesia plan depending on their medications that they're taking any type of comorbidities that might affect what I give them for anesthesia so I do a full assessment place their IV and then I get my room set up for the operation that we're doing that means drawing out my drugs checking the machine to make sure it's functioning properly making sure I have a full oxygen and nitrous tank available as well as getting my airway supplies and choosing which blade I'm going to use for my patient so it is now one o'clock and i am officially done for the day in between all the errands that I have to run today, I'm going to go over why I chose CRNA over some of the other advanced uh, specialties and over staying at the bedside in the CVICU, as well as some common myths associated with new grads going into the ICU, some common myths associated with the CRNA profession as a whole, how you can get into CRNA school, and I'm going to drop the question box actually as well, so I'll be able to answer some questions that you might have. I definitely forgot to mention that I just graduated CRNA school in May um, and I jumped right into an independent practice position. But back to the reason why I wanted to pursue this in the first place. Um, number one, I was really interested in pharmacy. I actually was a pharmacy major. I did my intended pharmacy for two out of the four years of my bachelor's and decided that it wasn't for me. And I switched my major to nursing. So nurse anesthesia in and of itself was the best of both worlds for me. Um, in addition to that, I kind of thought about going the NP route for a little while, literally like 2.3 seconds. And I realized that I had a passion for anesthesia, a passion for that vigilance, a passion for caring for one patient at a time. And the anesthesia itself is an art and a science. Just, you know, talking to the patient, building that rapport with them so quickly, gaining their trust, putting them to sleep, then waking them back up as if nothing ever happened. Your patients wake up, give you a thumbs up or tell you that you're great. It's just an amazing field and it's an amazing career. And I'm just glad that I decided to do it when I did it, when the things aligned. So that's my final reason why I chose CRNA school. There was a reason for me getting on the waiting list for nursing school in my hometown and having to move and go to school an hour away, getting in a car accident and pushing things off a little while um, because I was able to go to a school, be in an area where I can go right into the CVICU, um, which kind of set me up to go to CRNA school. Um, so I couldn't say no. At that moment, I couldn't find little excuses. I couldn't say, oh, it's not the right time or, oh, I'm not ready yet. I don't have enough experience. I don't have this. I don't have that. I just jumped on it because the opportunity was there and I wasn't going to let it pass me by.
I did work in the office setting. I did work in the hospital for a short time after I passed my boards prior to moving where I am now to work in private practice. I did that because this is my dream job. I did do some community service prior to applying CRNA school. I went to Peru on a mission trip. I think that it makes you a well-rounded applicant and they definitely look at those things. I actually do have my DMP. You have to have that educational degree prior to getting your certification, which is a CRNA. There are still some master's programs out there, but they will be going away soon. So I have my DMP specializing in nurse anesthesia. The program was three years long. I kept working as a CVICU open heart unit nurse for the first year of school. Um, after that, I continued, because I had two jobs, I continued working as an independent contractor for a pharmaceutical company really as simple as applying for the job. Um, some places do take new grads and in independent practice if you are willing to learn and are teachable. I also sought out independent practice settings um, while I was in school so that I would prepare myself for the job I wanted to have. As long as it takes you to fill out the application. Um, I had multiple job offers prior to me even graduating um, so there really isn't like a downtime of how long it takes you to find work. It's basically which job do you want. It's on you. I actually applied to one school and I applied to that one school once. Absolutely, my salary is pretty sweet. Um, I also don't work holidays, I don't work weekends, and I'm not on call. Um, so it works for what I need out of life right now, the flexibility, having days off, it's great. You all are asking some amazing questions, but I know I won't be able to get to all of them tonight. But there are so many resources online between my website and nurse.org you should definitely check out. I am so incredibly impressed with nurse.org and they didn't tell me to say this, um, but because a lot of people get our profession wrong. They label us as assistants and they don't actually understand what we do. They don't know where we work and nurse.org, they did their research. So they have these career guides. They also have these guides from um, your RN to CRNA progression guides as well um, that you can look at. Um, I highly recommend that you go through those because they contain a lot of information if you're looking to go into CRNA school. I think I broke the question box because it's not working. But someone wanted me to talk about how I thought that I couldn't do this and how I'm doing it now. Um, some of it does have to do with deal with race. Um, for most of my life, I felt as if I had to prove myself to others because being an African American, it was it was kind of hard, especially going to a predominantly white high school. I would get questioned when I would walk into my AP classes and they would ask me, was I in the wrong place? Because this is AP chemistry, not regular chemistry, as if I couldn't be in AP chemistry. And I had to deal with those things and I kind of worked hard to constantly prove myself and I realized that I didn't need to do that anymore. Um, the places that I'm at and the things that I've been doing, I deserve. I worked hard for it and that's really all the motivation that you need to go ahead and pursue what you want to do. Those doubts can weigh really heavy on you, very heavy on you. And you start believing them. Oh, maybe I'm not smart enough. Maybe my GPA isn't high enough. Maybe this isn't right for me. Maybe I should start in the med search unit. Maybe I shouldn't go straight into the ICU. Maybe I shouldn't apply to CRNA school. Maybe I am too old for this. Maybe it is too much responsibility. Maybe it is boring. Maybe it's not worth it. And then you start to doubt yourself. And then you don't do it. And then you regret it. That is why I want to help others. That's why I am providing professional development resources, assisting people with their mock interviews, helping them put their best foot forward with their personal statements and their resumes. I did have a mentorship program that is currently closed, but will be opening back up just to provide you not only with the things that you need to apply to CRNA school, but changing that mindset and really being able to understand your worth and your value. Part of CRNA school for me was my mission trip to Kenya. This past January, I went to Kenya through Kenya Relief and I provided anesthesia for endocrine surgeries. I was working with a host of other CRNAs and I basically was able to run my own room. 
So time definitely flies by when you're having fun. I just want to thank nurse.org for giving me the opportunity to share my day with you. I do apologize that I was not able to answer all the questions, but you can always follow me at I am nurse now. Slide in the DMs and I'll be sure to answer your question. Um, you can also just take a peek at my stories on the daily because I do talk about my day a lot. And um, since I just got this job and just started working, I still share a lot of the things that I go through on my page as well. In my highlight section, there's a lot of stuff about school there. I also have a YouTube channel and a website with a blog and a huge FAQ section about CRNA school. But don't forget to check out nurse.org resources. Even if you're in CRNA school, they do have a huge section, educational and career guides for you to continue your education.